Right now, as the population of the world explodes, all societies are beginning to become more and more developed. And so that means more agriculture, more industry, and more contamination. And so these contaminants are getting into the water supplies and eventually they're going to reach levels where we, we, we're going to reach that tipping point where, where something new has to be done, new technologies have to be introduced. So currently we're looking at the uh, use of plasma injection into liquid water for the purpose of uh, water purification. Our whole water treatment infrastructure is based on the way the world was, say, 100 years ago. Conventional water treatment system, literally, it consists of a series of filters and then a, um, a disinfection stage. Disinfection stage includes uh, ozone as well as uh, injection of chlorine. That's it. There's no additional chemistry that goes into your conventional plant to remove organic contaminants like pesticides, pharmaceuticals. Those small molecules just pass straight through. The nice thing about plasmas is that you have this fourth state of matter, matter it's glowing gas, you inject it into the water, it produces ozone, UV light, and all these reactive radicals, and in this way, the uh, plasma can initiate the uh, purification of the water by simply attacking whatever organic contaminants that are in the water, and that includes uh, things like pesticides, pharmaceuticals, um, and e bacteria and viral particles as well. The stumbling block still remains throughput, though. In other words, these, these devices tend to be small, and so process volumes are also small. And so when we're looking at um, alternative ways to make plasma in much larger volumes. When we first started this uh, research, we had envisioned it for a uh, point of use treatment system, particularly for underdeveloped countries. So you can envision this being at the center of a village where, where people bring their water to it to be processed and that would be all solar powered. As far as developed countries, particularly conventional water treatment systems here in the United States, you can imagine having a stage where you have plasma producing electrodes injected in line to produce plasma to that flowing water. So it would be in line, it would be an, an additional stage that takes care of the contaminants that we aren't addressing right now. The need for technologies to remove uh, these contaminants like PCB and pharmaceuticals even from our water supplies is important. Something needs to be done and um, uh, our, our future essentially depends on it.